Hi, I'm Jason Falk, uh, Senior Application Engineer with uh, Herco North America. Uh, we've got a lot of interesting things in our booth this year at IMTS, uh, but we'd like to point out a few. Uh, the first thing that we'll talk about is our, our 3D print technology. Uh, one of them that we're taking a look here is actually a, uh, a third-party uh, 3D printer that is being controlled by our WinMax control. Uh, this allows us to, uh, to prototype, um, you know, create programs uh, conversationally at the control, and then send them over to the 3D printer. Uh, allows you to kind of uh, see what the part's going to be before you have to go in and, and cut that part. The next part of our uh, 3D printing that we'd like to show here at IMTS is our 3D print head. Uh, if you take a look at the machine here, uh, this is a spindle mounted 3D print head. Uh, this allows you to convert your uh, CNC machine into a 3D printer. Um, this gives you the, uh, the flexibility of having the 3D printer uh, right in the machine. Uh, you know, if you want to uh, go ahead and, and print, kind of see what the part's going to be before applying tool to metal, uh, you can very easily do that by, uh, by putting the uh, 3D print head right in the machine uh, and uh, kind of getting a, a preview of the part uh, before you cut. Another thing that we'd like to uh, point out during your trip to IMTS this year is some of the things we're doing to help ease the use of automation uh, with our CNC machines. Uh, the demonstration we have set up here, uh, we have this Aroa uh, pallet changer hooked up to our VMX24 HSI. Essentially, we're just loading in several pallets into the machine to create several different parts. Uh, a couple of things we've done to make this easy uh, is what we call job list or, or Herco job list. Uh, what this allows you to do is essentially queue up several programs uh, and the control will send those to the, the robot as needed. Uh, if you were doing lights out machining uh, or if you wanted to just leave a machine running unattended uh, for, a, for a large part of the day, uh, you simply queue up all the programs that you uh, would like it to run and the control will take care of uh, loading all the files needed to make sure that that file runs. Uh, you know, such as uh, loading your part, tool setup, those kind of things. Uh, uh, we can do this with both our conversational and NC programs. Uh, again, the control is just going to take care of making sure that uh, anything that is needed to run that job will be loaded, and that's kind of what the job list does. Um, along with this, uh, we've also got a, uh, a new feature of this, which will allow us to have the robot kind of dictate what's going to run. Uh, this would be good for kind of a cell manufacturing. Uh, if you had several machines in a, a cell and a single robot feeding those machines, the robot can determine where the part needs to go. So if you had a, a machine that just finished a job, if the next job in line is capable to be run on that machine, the robot will then send that program to the machine. So there's no longer having to wait for a machine or, or maybe a machine sitting idle waiting for, uh, for the part to be done, uh, the robot can kind of see if the part can be run there and then go ahead and transfer that part into the machine. Another thing we always like to talk about at uh, any trade show or, or really any time we get a chance is our, our five axis technology. Uh, we're running uh, three pretty neat uh, demos this year at IMTS on our, our five axis equipment. Uh, on our smallest five axis machine, the uh, VM10U, uh, we're going to, or we are running, a, uh, a stainless uh, hydraulic port uh, for a helicopter. Um, on our VMX42SW, uh, we are doing some engine porting, uh, thanks to uh, one of our customers, Mast Motorsports, uh, a pretty impressive demo there as well. Uh, then here on our VC600, uh, we've got just kind of a, a fun demo uh, where we are cutting the Herco O in the top of this dome. Uh, the whole reason uh, for showing this technology, uh, at least in, in my opinion, is just ease of use. Um, we can do some, some pretty neat things with our five axis equipment, but the real benefit is the ease of use in getting that done. You know, as an operator, you know, I really don't care what a machine can do if I personally can't get that machine to do it. Uh, so for me, uh, when talking with Herco and five axis, it always goes back to ease of use. You know, there's a, a lot of things that we've built into these controls to make sure that the operator can get on that machine, they can get the part going, and they can get the part that they want in the way that they want it as easy as possible. 
I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please take a look at our website. Uh, that's www.herco.com. Uh, and we hope to see you all at booth 8319 in the South Hall. Thank you.